I'm on Anzac Hill. It's a fantastic lookout that has 360 degree views of Alice Springs and it's a great starting point for all the natural wonders that surround this area. Now I'm going to cook a Sicilian style pasta that has a bit of chilli in it and some anchovies. So I've got a pot of water on, I've added some salt to it and now I'm going to add my spaghetti, dried spaghetti for this. I'll add just enough for one serve and then we'll add that to the pot. And this is such a fast pasta. By the time this is cooked, the sauce will be cooked too. I want my pasta to be al dente too. So in it goes and I'll just turn it in the water just to bend it so it is completely submerged. And just because it's slightly windy up here at Anzac Hill, I might pop the lid back on just so it comes back up to the boil. And now for the quick sauce to go with this, some garlic, a big clove of garlic that I'll bruise and then just roughly chop. Have your heat on a really low heat to start with. Nothing worse than burnt garlic in a pasta sauce like this. So just roughly chopping it. And then in it goes, along with a good glug of extra virgin olive oil. Use a nice olive oil for this. Into that, I'll add lots of anchovies. I love anchovies with this dish. So three anchovies that I'll roughly chop and they'll melt into the sauce. So in they go, give that a bit of a toss and then for some chilli flakes, a generous pinch and again giving it a toss and then for the tomatoes, I'm using two varieties of tomatoes, tomato paste and also some cherry tomatoes. Look how gorgeous these are, perfectly ripe. So I'm going to use all of these and I'll cut them in half and I want these to semi-cook. I don't want them to become really mushy. I want them to hold their shape. So I'm going to cook them at the very last minute. Into this now I can add the tomato paste. It's going to give it a richness but not a sauciness as you would expect from a can of crushed tomatoes. In it goes. About a tablespoon and we'll give that a mix. And then now I'm going to deglaze with some white wine. And then you can see there's just a little bit of flame, but that's just cooking off the alcohol. So that'll go away in a moment. Mmm, and it smells fantastic now. Just let that bubble away, just so it reduces and we cook off that alcohol. I don't want that raw flavour. I just want the perfume of the white wine. All right, now we can add our tomatoes. And I'll add a pinch of salt and some freshly cracked pepper. And then now we're just going to toss those tomatoes in the sauce so they break down ever so gently. And I'm adding quite a lot of parsley to this, a nice generous bunch of that. I'm going to cut one third of the stalks away. I don't want them. The rest of them I do, but you want to cut them quite finely for a pasta dish like this. So just run your knife through them into the little speckles. And then for the rest of the parsley leaves, just bunch it up and then run your knife through it not as fine because I want that texture through it. Okay, we're going to add our parsley stalks. And I'm not going to add these leaves yet. Once I add the pasta, that's when I'll add the leaves. All right, let's have a look at the pasta. It's boiling away. Ooh, it's nearly there. I think it's gonna take another three minutes. I'm gonna turn this sauce off because that's pretty much ready. And when that pasta is done, I'm going to toss it all together. In the meantime, I can look at this gorgeous view, sun setting. This is a magical place right here. Okay, this pasta is ready, so I'm going to take it out. No need to drain it at all. In fact, I want some of that water to go into the sauce. It's just going to round it all off. So in it goes. The sun's going down, so it's a perfect time for me to finish this dish. We're going to give that a toss, and while I'm tossing that, I'll add this big handful of parsley, and then some fresh lemon zest, and leave that to the last minute. And then some parmesan cheese, you could also use pecorino, works nicely. I'm going to grate some into the sauce. Done. Now a few tosses of that just to mix it all together. Oh, it looks good. 
See how it's perfectly saucy, but it's not over the top because we still want to taste the beautiful spaghetti itself. And we'll just grab a generous amount of that and we'll pop that in the bowl. Lots of those tomatoes and the parsley and a few extra tomatoes. They were bursting with juice, so I want to show them off. And then because I love my cheese, more cheese over the top. There you go. It's full of flavour and the view with a bowl of pasta. This is my ultimate comfort food. And that, well, I love a good sunset. So I'm pretty happy right now. <laughs>